I'm practicing my foot circling. Eee! Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We are, we are tapping on a plusle, but we are also making progress through here and I already got a magnemite, but I just want to peek. Okay, at that end. Just want to see all the stuff there is to see and sure enough more- Oh jeez, there's three this time! Sure enough, with their sludge puddles, there are Grimers. Oh yeah, I circled it even with the sludge puddle there. That was some skillful circling. I should say I circled them even with the sludge puddle there. See, I wanted to get them while I was early on when they were all packed together. <laughs> well, best of luck with these three, because they are... Yeah, triple the stink. <laughs> uh, let's see what's around here. Totodile having a good time. Wall. A wall. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Isn't that? Isn't that? <laughs> so obviously we don't have the right Pokemon for this yeah, at the moment. So yeah. Yeah, I would like to. That would be nice. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's... Um, okay, thank you for once again talking down to me. Oh, uh, oh, uh, mm, uh, oh, oh, I don't need you. <laughs> so, over here is the thing that I need. It is a Tangela! Woo! So, as she was saying, there we go. It's very hoppy Pokemon, so try and circle it quickly. It only takes two loops, but those two loops might feel like a hundred. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Uh, yeah, I suppose... I don't think there's any use for waters down here, in all honesty. So I'm just gonna release the old crocodile. Okay. <laughs> just wanna get out of its sight, and where is it? Tangela, 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 okay. <laughs> So, with the power of wine, we can now cross! Which also means we can cross something else at a different area, of course, if you recall correctly. And also, that, oh, that Magnemite's aggressive. If you didn't see, there's a way around back that way without having a Pokemon, you just jump off the ledge. But, yeah, I don't really have to show you that because I was close enough to the wall, I just wanted to point out, hey, yeah, that's how you get back if you want to get back. Um, Okay, and I still haven't showed Psychic and Poison Pokemon assists, have I? Have I? Hmm. Hmm. Well, there might be a good opportunity right here. See this wire fence? We can use it on Eradicate in a nearby room. Um, actually, I want to see what's up over here. Literally, what's up over here? Okay, there's not. <laughs> well, there's a Drowsy, I guess, and... Yeah, but that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, what's down? Oh, I could not avoid you whatsoever. <laughs> I could only circle you once and run. As you, as I said before, I'm not really all that concerned about experience points or anything like that. There's the Raticate. Alright, so which Pokemon assist should I use first? How about the poison one? Because it's left to right. So. So, Toxic Cloud, stop Pokemon from moving, just like it worked for me! <laughs> See how that works? You draw a line in front of the Pokemon or around the Pokemon so that they stop moving, and then you, you start circling around it like crazy. Okay, so I did that, and you know what, I might as well show the Psychic one on the Corefish, because it's just gonna be in my way anyway. So, <laughs> here we go. Psychic power levitates Pokemon helplessly in place. That's your chance to capture it. So it does a similar thing to the power of <laughs> the power of your plusle in that it just keeps Pokemon in place. Only it moves them a little bit up from where they were. So you might want to time that so it's not near the ceiling and you don't hit the Pokemon with the, your styler. Because, yeah, that would be kind of, kind of a problem. And now, once we get this Raticate here, we're gonna come across a sort of kind of mini-boss sort of thing here. Because... Oh, and this one's... This one's a toughie here, so you might want to use your Plusle. Behold! 
Mordaunt! And it does quite a bit of damage with those pincers. Oh wow, that went unbelievably smooth. <laughs> Alright, so it's got a triple cut there. So we can use that should we need to for any more fences. And I don't think there's any more fences actually, so maybe that's pointless more than anything besides getting it for your browser and stuff. Um, I'm gonna try and get past you to see what's up here, I guess. Reluctantly. Uh, boop, and run. Run, 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 Okay, nothing. Ah! Mm, it, was, it wasn't flashing anymore. <laughs> It's a tight area. Not all wild Pokemon are possible to evade. That is okay. Uh, save points. I don't think I need that. I think I'll be just fine because I've got a Magnemite on my side, which I can use to refill my Styler if maybe that's a good opportunity. Yes! Heck yeah! They all started looping towards one, one sort of area there. I believe it goes up by two again. Yep, yep, yep. Heck yeah! See, our level up, level ups are coming just as we're playing. We don't have to capture everything. We'll do our level ups. They will come. They will come. And man, you do a lot of traveling here. Like instead of gathering all the grimer in one place and just following me or something, you go in, get those grimers, get back out. Because that that uh, that stench is just too much for you to stay around, I guess. <laughs> Thought it really was the last? That seems... What? Yeah, uh, I, I smelled it too. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's going on around this place? The stenches have not subsided at all. You must find out what the troubles are. Uh, uh, you might actually want to catch a spare Magnemite. <clears throat> maybe. Maybe. It's up to you. Let's just put it that way. If there's a Magnemite coming... And you're sensing something even more stinky? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, it's mock! Yep, the stench has been quintupled. <laughs> oh, panic. Panic, 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 panic! And besides that other spot that we've seen with the, you know, the roping with the Tangela to get across it, we have seen all of the waterworks. Heck yeah! So, I'm gonna hop down here. I'm just gonna end up looping around there again to get that Tangela anyway, so, yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. That is true. Alright. So, here we go. Make sure your game is saved somewhere. In fact, I think there's a save point. Uh, right down there, but I'm confident in my skills, so in we go. Here we go, the first boss of the game! New music and everything! Let's do this. I recommend getting the Grimer first, if you can. Um, just, when the Mux sees your Styler, it'll actually go for it, which is kind of a problem. So it's a lot of opportunity picking here. Uh, I just gotta, gotta watch our timing here. And just try and loop as best we possibly can. Perhaps when you're all together. Oh, poopers. That is troublesome. Ah, that is definitely troublesome. Okay, I'm being too aggressive here. <laughs> just give it a little boost here. Okay. Hmm. Hold on a sec. This, no, wait, that doesn't. Oh. Eh. <laughs> It's just, the Mux trail is so much longer than the Grimers, that's the problem here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I get you to, like, move over on the side, like, somewhere down? No? Because <laughs> he only goes so close to the edge of the screen. That's okay. Ah, poopers. I see an opportunity to get... Ah, maybe I lost it there. Because I see an opportunity to get one of the Grimers off of the other one separate. But no, no, not quite. Maybe I could do, like, some stalling tactics. <laughs> I could also do this as well. That's another thing that I could potentially do. Let's stop there, yes, and then go... Okay, oh, shoot, I lost my opportunity. Poopers! Wait, wait, actually... Ah! <laughs> I said I'm confident in my skills, but 
I'm clearly having issues here somehow. I'm tempted to use that other Magnemite, but maybe not right now. Maybe not right now. Um. Okay, got one. That'll be immensely helpful. Alright, so let's get... Hopefully they'll separate. And... Yeah. Come on now. Come, wait, actually, this is good. Yes, I just want to get the Grimer. Not the Mock. Alright, now I can focus all my efforts on the main boss! Woo! <laughs> yeah, it's all about picking your opportunities, and I was just getting impatient there. That's why I was taking damage. Alright. That's the wrap, folks! The waterworks is cleared out. <laughs> Well, except for that other side thing, yeah. <laughs> Woo so maybe it wasn't my smell after all. <laughs> Mission complete! <laughs> well, mission clear, as it says. Heck yeah! Woo! Hey, how's it going? You like that capture? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, well, you have a good day then, I guess. <laughs> and thus, we are out. But I'm gonna go back in there and do the Tangela thing. How did she miss... Ah, eh, forget about it. <laughs> Not right now. Not right now. <laughs> mm, yeah, maybe I should go take a shower. <laughs> Woohoo! Gots to have that water, otherwise dehydration will do you in in just a few days. We have ranked up! Yeah! Happy days! Woo! <laughs> now, we got another sort of upgrade here. Po bug Poke Assist, plus Ground Poke Assist, and, and, and... See the caps? See the caps? Yep, you can have up to seven, <clears throat> seven, just like you can have up to five bars for your plus hole, but... But... Yes. <laughs> That's why they cap it, apparently. Even though it's more annoying than anything to have that cap, because as you've seen, I was swapping out my party quite a lot up to this point, so this will help just a little bit more. Oh, hello. What do I get? What do I get? Oh, Summerland, really? How do I get to Summerland? How do I get to Summerland? Hmm. 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 Do you remember someone at the dock saying they'd give me a ride? Remember that? Remember that? Yeah, the ferry not got, I mean, not up and running, so we gotta do something else about that. Uh, why? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Always that Dragonite bus and its restrictions. <laughs> hmm. Lapras guy, that might work. Lapras are fun to ride on. I've done that before in other Pokemon games. <laughs> Got anything else to say? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, poopers. Hmm. Maybe. Really. I think she's a- yeah, I was gonna say she's a little too ornery to be a leader. <laughs> she's just bringing the whole team down. Uh, anyone else around here? No? Well, okay. So I'm gonna go back over to the waterworks and do the Tangela thing across the gap. So I will see you there, if you don't mind. Hey, hello there. You weren't here before, were you? Meditite! Yeah, once you clear out the muck and grimer issues, Meditite will start appearing in the sewer. <laughs> Not sewers, the waterworks. Keep saying it's sewers because it's underground and stuff. But yeah. <laughs> so now we got something that can break through walls as well. See, we aren't done here just yet. Okay, so first the water. I mean, pfft. Isn't the water first the wall? I guess, and there's also Rattata down here now. So, we oh, hello there. <laughs> so there is that one going to be added to my browser as well. Very worth coming down here a second time. Remember to do so. And now for the wall. So the wall requires just one little smashy smash. That's what I got the Metatite for. There we go. Wall down. 
Success! And what's beyond, beyond the wall here, though? That is the question. Well, it's another sort of kind of mini-boss type thing. A Magneton! Which recovers your styler even more so than other Magnemites and Pichus and yeah. It's not that difficult to catch us. <laughs> I'm not even sure how I'd call it a mini-boss, but it is certainly a secret Pokémon. There's also an Oddish in here as well, which is most certainly not an, a boss by any means, but I will have to catch that but despite its Razor Leaf. And there we go, added to the browser. Heck yeah! Now for that Tangela. Which is right around this area, too, if I recall correctly, because you go up and pff, you go up and around where that post was, but instead you go back. But basically, all these other Pokemon um, that I'm coming across here are why I wanted to do this on a second run through the waterworks, because it's just much easier to do it that way. All right, there we go. There is our Tangela. And I will see you back at the post way back on the other side. Whoops, I did not want to do that. <laughs> Alright, right in here, as long as that core fish relaxes a little bit here, I should be able to stick in the corner here. Uh, come on, tank, tangle, tank, tangle, there you go. <laughs> now, being able to cross here, give us access to another little sort of kind of wing here. Which will allow us to see some new stuff, like say a Squirtle over here. Yeah, don't don't think that there are dead ends here, because sometimes I mean, yeah, there are dead ends, but sometimes there's a dead end, and if you go there, a Pokemon will appear if you kind of flip flop around the area. So yeah, let's capture the Pokemon that we see around these parts. Needs double fire, which we do not have in our possession. I don't think we can actually do that until later on, because there's no double fire thing at all at this point in the game. So yeah, uh, can I get past you without... Yes, I can. I was going to say without causing any battles. I cannot get past you, though. <laughs> but I can run from you, though. Oh, right, you only take one loop. Well, I guess technically that is a run. Um... Yeah, I will reorganize. Let, let's see, get rid of you, drop you, and I guess the Squirtle too. Because I got, you know, those, those are the field cutters and stuff and stuff, so yeah. So down here is just a plain old Totodile. Um, I don't want to hop down... Okay, that is it. <laughs> I was going to say, I don't want to hop down there yet until I'm done done. But yeah, it looks like I'm done done. <laughs> so I will see you back outside the waterworks. Whee! For once, this is a shortcut, and there's Grimer down here now, if you... yeah. Don't worry about those Grimer, though. I guess they have been effectively rendered harmless for the waterworks now, or something. Yeah, I don't understand it either. <laughs> anyway, uh, maybe I should have done that secondary wing when I had a double fire Pokémon on my side, but... Eh, and uh, I don't know, just remember that it's there for later, let's just put it that way. Did you get a name for this fountain yet? Fall City Fountain? Yeah, that's... you might want to work on that. <laughs> Alright, so back at the docks. Remember Lapras Guy? Oh no! Lapras is in trouble now for some reason! He needs help! Being attacked by Krabby, which... In all honesty, I don't really think are doing all that much. <laughs> Oh, poopers! Well, I guess they're gonna have to calm those Krabby down. Oh, no, no! I did- I didn't mean to do that. Yes. <laughs> Alright. My reply is mistaking, but cool indeed, I guess. Alright, let's capture those Krabby. Uh, just let them bubble. And when they're in place, we'll capture. Yeah, it's better to wait for them to bubble when they're all on top of each other and then attempt to the capture. Sweet! We never caught one of those before. Well, now we did. That's why we had to capture these Krabby here, because, yeah, that... Oh, I, f I forgot to get a wing all around here, too, didn't I? Because they aren't going to be around here in, event in the event, but I knew there was a Krabby event. Okay, yeah, I gotta go back up there and get a wing all. <laughs> I was treating the wing all as if they were mere objects. <laughs> hmm. And that, that was what I was going to do anyway, so yeah, there we go. Bye-bye! 
All right. Mm, that would be nice to cross the sea if you could do that, but not until I get a wingle, if you don't mind. <laughs> I don't think I'd be able to cross the sea. That sounds like a very long swim and I'd be tired out and I'd just end up floating with the currents eventually because I would be so tired I wouldn't be able to move. I'd have to float face up on the water until I recover and who knows where I'd end up. So yeah, Lapras has been added to the browser as well, without even the necessity of capturing it. But yeah, when I need when I need to go across there, I will do so. But for now, it's wingle time. There's one. There's one. It's not close enough to the ground. It's outside the barrier. <laughs> All right, there's more over here though. I think. Yeah, I'm gonna. Hey you. you, you get down lower to the ground, please. You get lower, lower, lower. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm not gonna forget to get you. No, 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 no water guns. No water guns. Yeah, there we go. Woo! Happy days. And another Pokemon added to the browser. Woo! Alright, uh, there shouldn't be anything else over here besides the Krabby, which I was gonna get at the dock down below during that event to save time. But yes. Hmm. What? Okay, <laughs> anyway, let's go and use the Lapras to get over to Summerland. Have a nice... Yeah, 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 I will release them. I know that dealio there. Woo! So here we go, across the sea. Yes, yes, see what we missed? Uh, gonna capture Wingle along our way to Summerland, but alas, we can't do so. We can't do so. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here because I've arrived at Summerland and I'm gonna explore it in the next part. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you then.